Each and every day, farmers and producers work hard to produce food that will be feeding the state, country, and even world, which is why it's vitally important that it's processed and kept properly, which is where the Georgia Department of Agriculture's testing lab comes into play. The labs are testing, uh, particularly the Food Safety and Microbiology Lab, uh, retail food, manufactured food. So our inspectors are out in these places making sure that food is safe and that folks are doing what they're supposed to. But they're also going to take a sample at that point to verify what they're seeing and what they're hearing as part of their inspection process. And what our labs are going to do is take that sample and test it for generally quality or other consumer protection items. Um, are there pathogens on it? And if so, what are they? Um, so we can get that out of commerce. We can get it out of someone's food line so no one gets sick. Crabtree says they're primarily testing for three main pathogens, Salmonella, E. coli, and Listeria, three of the most harmful bacteria for humans to consume. The reason we're doing that is that all of those are known pathogens that can make someone sick very quickly. So from your very young to your very old and then everybody in between. So what we're going to do is make sure that any food that might have that, which these are natural bacteria in the environment, these things can get in there from many different ways, that if it's there, we're getting it out of the grocery stores. We're getting it out of manufacturing so that someone is not exposed to these and can get very sick. Um, these pathogens can cause outbreaks. Uh, they can cause a lot of people to get very sick very quickly. And so we're going to make sure that we're testing to, to protect food in all walks of life from having those in there. According to Crabtree, it's important that they work to be proactive rather than reactive, as the consequences of an outbreak can often be severe. Prevention, uh, we do that by having inspectors in many different places. So from where food is manufactured to the point you can pick it up at the grocery store. Uh, one, to make sure we're not on the back end because the folks have already eaten it. If they're already sick, then we may not be able to find it at that point. We may not be able to find the link and solve the issue if there's some temperature control or some other environmental aspect that we could help uh, control or fix. Um, so by being in the front, being on the prevention side, we can get it off shelves very quickly. We can get that control fixed, assist those manufacturers, assist those retailers with not having the issue again. Um, the backside of being reactive is you miss a lot of things. Um, you miss getting that out, getting the public informed, getting recalls issued if that's going to be the case. And folks are already sick. You may have already had some um, fatalities, unfortunately. And we want to be in front of that, not reacting to it in the back. You, you can't, um, you always have to play catch up if you're reacting after the fact instead of being out in front. So we like to be offensive instead of defensive. Reporting in Atlanta for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.